Hello everybody and today I am going to be teaching you how to play the Dragon Ball Super trading card game online for free. It's really fun and I'm going to show you how to download it and install uh, what you need for it. I have my notes right here and um, I'm also going to show you a little bit how to play because some of the other tutorials don't show people how to really use the software and I couldn't find a how to anywhere else. So other people online had to teach me, so I feel like this video would kind of be useful for y'all. I'm also going to put the links down below in the description. I'm uh, going to get rid of that tab for possible spoilers for those who haven't watched the newest episode of Super. So the links are once again going to be down in the description. You just go here to uh, octgn.net slash home slash get octgn. OCTGN is basically the tabletop simulator we're going to use to play DBS online. You click the download link, so it's going to download. You'd run through the installer, and then once you've done that, you're going to need uh, the card image files. So you're going to go over to here, which I'm going to link as well, which is hi-izuru.org slash OCTGN slash games. And we're going to go to Dragon Ball Super. And here are all the directories. There's all these full one, two, three, and the individual packs for set one, set two, and set three, the spoilers for set three, right there. And you're going to download them. And once you've done that, you're going to go and open OCTGM, which you should now have a, a icon on your desktop for after you've installed it properly. You're going to sign up and register your account. Here's mine, so I'm going to sign in. And then we're going to go to, over to Games Manager. Sometimes it's just a little bit laggy signing on. There we go. So what you need to do is you're going to click um, on Games Manager. You're going to click on Add Game Feed. And then from the Add Game Feed, you're going to input capital DBZ space, capital F, lowercase EED. You're going to enter the feed URL path as this and you're going to uh, hit enter. You don't need the username or password for it. It's going to download and then after you've done that instead of all on here on the feed you're going to go to DBZ feed and you're going to make sure that you hit install and once it's installed you should see the uh, red uninstall button pop up. So um, once you've done that um, you're pretty much ready to go. You can go into your deck editor from there. Uh, and so if we want to make a new deck we would do new Dragon Ball S patch testing. And you can search by color. Like if I went yellow I just type in yellow. And here's Frieza. There's the leader. So I would want to go over to leader. And there's Frieza. So now I basically want to click and I want to go over to deck and I just went full power freeze on there so just add it and we're going to add until we have the amount of cards we want in our deck so we're not going to save that and then uh, next I'm going to show you a little bit about how to actually play the game we're probably not going to go through a full match because uh, one I'm not very good at the game and I don't want to embarrass myself and two um, you know, I think it's pretty uh, easy once people get the hand of it. So we're going to go over to Player Spectate. Here's one. Play Girl the Grand Admiral. Long time. I'm just going to have a cut between now and I actually get somebody to play with. Okay, so I couldn't find uh, anyone to play with, but that's okay. Where I'm just going to show you how you would. I'm basically going to play against myself. So we go to game, we go to load deck, we're going to load Ginyu, the first thing we do is shuffle our deck and then obviously we want to draw our 6 so we go to draw X, we input 6 so here's our 6 and if I wanted to mulligan something I could just put it back into the deck shuffle and then draw uh, the same amount of cards and I just tell my opponent something like uh, mall 2 like oop, and then oop. and then we shuffle and we draw and we draw I do the same thing let's 
annoying. Um, and then after that, we're going to go click up here anywhere in this box. We're going to hit set up life. Now we have our eight life set up. And from there, uh, we're going to go ahead and drag out our leader, which is right there. We put him right here because this is our set of the mat. And so when you want to charge an energy, uh, what do I want to charge it? Let's, I have three avenging phrases. I don't really need that many. But I really like the Frieza call. Let's charge the Crusher Ball. So there we go. We're going to over here. We're going to tap the Crusher Ball. It says we tap it. Everything you do is right down there. And then you just basically tell your opponent effect. If there's no negates. You go to right here, click. You go look at, right click on your deck. Look at top X. Look at top three. So here's a target. Here's my birder. So I'm going to play this to the fields so they can see what I'm picking. I'm going to add it to the hand. And I'm going to shuffle. And so let's say if my opponent had like a leader or something that I wanted to attack, you hold down shift, you left click on your card, and then you drag it to show what you're targeting. And then you can left click right here to untarget. And if I just want to activate a skill or target cards in the field for like if I drop a kill or something, you can just hold down shift and single click to target cards. So really simple, it's a little bit um, analog, but I kind of like it. The player in action is really great. And you basically just say, no eight, no combo. Just as you would if you were playing in real life. Anytime we're gonna change a uh, turn to your opponent, you click the arrow next to their name. So like, I'd click down here, it's turn one for me, turn two for me, turn three for me. If I take a life, it's just add life to hand, add life to hand. Um, if you're playing something like Chilled and you need tokens, I just put my tokens on my side deck right there, the sideboard area. And the warp is over here. So it's a, it's pretty self-explanatory. Drop zone here, leader here, all the things have little tooltips. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, please leave them down below in the comment section or if you have any problems getting this set up, I'd be more than happy to help answer them for you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.